love your jumper. Thank you. Joe always opens the door for me. Ever since I've met him, like nine years ago. Still to this day, he opens up the car door for me every time. So good morning. Let me put my safety belt on. It is currently a Sunday and we are on our way to the farmer's market here in Wellington. It is such a nice farmer's market. I literally want to live there. <laughs> just gonna go there. We might just grab a coffee, walk around a little bit, and then we're off to our friend's house for waffles and church. And then we're going to watch church at their house. So yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. But it is not looking so great, like on that side. But this side is looking good, guys. Like it looks like there is a storm coming. Carrying a loaf of bread with me. <laughs> to the mall. Priorities. I got a book. You're so cute. Show us. Give us your best catwalk. I feel like they kind of look like clowns. Like, <laughs> I feel like really big. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> what are you supposed to wear those with? home um, and I am just about to make some lunch for us but it's three o'clock at the moment so it's not really lunch it's more like dinner well we feel like eggs on toast so I'm just gonna make that and I'm gonna make a TikTok video so if you're watching this video then that TikTok video is probably uploaded so make sure to go and check that out the link is in the description to my TikTok actually I am going to make banana bread with you guys and then afterwards when it's baking in the oven I will make our sourdough and eggs so let's make banana bread together I've got some really ripe bananas here um so these aren't the bananas from the market this morning so I'm gonna use these I'll also share the recipe on the screen here if you wanted to just screenshot it and use it 
The recipe that was on the screen makes two loaves, so I just halve the recipe and instead of using five eggs, I use two eggs. Instead of using baking soda and flour, I use self-raising flour. And instead of using nuts, I just don't add any nuts in. And instead of using buttermilk, I just use milk. So it's kind of like a, I don't know where I got this recipe from. I think I got it from some sort of um, Pinterest search thing. But I've had it for so long now. I kind of just remove things and add things in there that to kind of like make it my own recipe. I don't know. So maybe I'll just share my own recipe instead of this one. I take my three bananas and I put them into the bowl. It is by far the best banana recipe I've ever had. Um, I've ever made. It always is a winner when I make it. Actually, we don't need three bananas, but I'm just gonna do three bananas. You can just do two if you just have to. I don't have a masher, so I just use my little whisker thing for my machine. I'm assuming this is one cup, so I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna play the guessing game. I don't usually follow recipes when I'm in the kitchen. I used to work in a cafe when I lived in Tauranga and the chef there was a Chinese um, older lady and she was pretty much like my Chinese mum. I was like her assistant chef in this kitchen. I have no experience in any culinary things whatsoever. But she basically just told me that I need to cook from the heart and I have to feel with my heart. She always, whenever I grab like a measuring spoon or a measuring cup, she'd always be like, no, no, feel with your heart. And so that's kind of like how I cook and that's kind of how I do things in the kitchen. Even when I, when I post a TikTok video and um, people ask me that to write down the recipe, I'm just kind of like, I can't really pinpoint exact measurements because I don't usually follow ex ex exact measurements. So it's really hard for me to kind of write down recipes. And I almost feel like I watch videos by just eyeballing it. <laughs> like I just watch a video, I'm like, oh yeah, I can make that. And then I just kind of make it and feel my way through it. I don't know, that's just kind of how I've been <laughs> taught in a way. And my mom's the same. So I don't really measure things as much. And I just kind of go by how I feel. And <laughs> if that drives you insane, don't worry, I totally get it. It drives Joe insane <laughs> when he cooks with me in the kitchen because he's very, he's a perfectionist. So he measures everything to like the exact milligram. So um, I get it and I'm really sorry, but you should just try it sometime. Feel with your heart. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to melt the butter. It says softened butter. So um, what I actually found, this is another little trick. There's a weight defrost setting on my microwave. So I click that and then I just type in 100, which is 100 grams, and then I just press start and it just softens the butter and sort of melts it to like a boiling temperature. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so let's hope and pray that this time it works. So that's just going to soften up, hopefully. And then it says six tablespoons of buttermilk, so I'm just going to use oat milk. I know buttermilk is a lot more like a, a thicker kind of creamier milk, I'm assuming, but I've always used just normal milk and it's been fine. I just realized we're not making two loaves. Ah, that'll be fine. So I just put five tablespoons of milk in there for one loaf. Just gonna mix that in. I feel like this is sort of a disaster, but <laughs> we're just gonna go with it and see if it works out. It's definitely melted it a little bit, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I need to get a whisk because this is just embarrassing. I actually got called out on TikTok for using this thing. They're like, not you using <laughs> that. And I'm like, I know, I just, I'm so kind of working on kitting out my kitchen, so bear with, bear with me whilst I figure that out. And um, this butter is sort of softened and a little bit melted, but I'm sure that's fine. Just gonna pop that in here. So it's a cup of butter. I guess we're just going to make two loaves. I don't know. We can just see. Maybe we could make a loaf and then some banana muffins. I'm going to mix it properly. I'm just kind of like mixing, pre mixing it. Yeah. So. Ooh, 
and then we'll bake it for 30 minutes 20 to 25 30 minutes this is not looking great at all a little bit of a disaster but we're just gonna roll with it yeah I know it's not looking that great but it's all about trusting the process right Okay, and then we're going to add in two cups of flour and two cups of sugar So I am kind of making two loaves, but I'm gonna make one loaf and then I'm gonna make some muffins on the side So that'll be fine. So this is self-raising flour um, I really need to get one of those little things that you can like put the, all the stuff in and then you kind of like shake it into the mix But I don't have that so <laughs> I'm actually just gonna flop it in and mix In two cups of sugar. We'll do that soon. I'm just gonna mix this in. I'm gonna add some more milk in because I feel like it's just too it's too thick. That's a lot better. With the sugar you can definitely play around with how much you want to put in like you don't have to put in two cups. Sometimes I just like to put in one because I feel like the there is three bananas in there at the moment and it is already quite sweet. I don't like overly sweet things. Okay. Let's do this. I feel like this is way too much better. But you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. And this is usually where people get creative and they put nuts and banana and almond flakes and just all of the above on top and I personally don't like that so I'm just going to put it in the oven like that I feel like this is how my grandma and how my mom would make it so I love it like this now let's make some muffins Getting a, a little ice cream scooper. Yay, no waste. Okay, these look so cute. I'm so happy with how much better was needed for both of this. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven now and then we're just going to let that cook for 20, 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna just check on them between 20 and 30 minutes. banana bread but unfortunately it rose but then when I took it out it fell so <laughs> I don't really know why that happened <laughs> and these are easy to get out oh. I wouldn't really call these muffins <laughs> I don't know what would you call this Cookies. Mm. Thick cookies. Yeah. I guess if you do make these muffins and this banana bread, just kind of like proceed with caution. Maybe if I like stuck to the recipe, it would have been better. And maybe if I used flour and baking soda like the recipe said, then maybe it will be good, but yeah. This is kind of flop, but it still tastes good. Mm -hmm. 